Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Wildy Garden. Real apologies about the delay in the lack of video uploads lately. It's just been a manic time. Autumn is extremely busy for me. I've been finishing meadow projects, I've been starting new projects, and a wealth of uh, wonderful stuff in between, which is no doubt coming to the channel as soon as I get five minutes over the winter months. But uh, today I am in Hampshire. I'm just outside, just north of Southampton, where I am managing this three and a half acre meadow, which is a really, really nice site. It's one that I come to uh, at least twice a year, usually to try and improve the floral diversity, and that is by introducing new wildflowers mostly and doing some hay cuts. This is one of the official last hay cuts of the year. Um, I've got the agri mower, which I've been using just to kind of roughly cut some of these areas. It's a very kind of sporadic maintenance we're doing, uh, which is the best way, a mosaic of habitats is the best way I find to uh, manage habitats on sites like this because, you know, you cut everything off, it just wipes out uh, the cover and the um, habitat for so many insects. I mean, there's tons and tons of stuff in this meadow, too many uh, to explain. There's 31 species of butterfly have been recorded on the site. There are counts of up to 13 adders in one transect in the peak of the season. Uh, there's grass snakes, slow worms up to 40 on one transect. It is an amazing amazing place. I'm not going to tell you where it is obviously um, because I don't want it getting laughs out with people but it is a, a private site of course um, so it's not open to the public sadly but it is a really fantastic habitat for wildlife and it's an absolute pleasure to be able to come back and manage this site. So today's job is managing the meadow, cutting some areas out and then planting some nine centimeter potted wildflowers into the meadow and of course if you're looking to buy any wildflowers, uh, seed, uh, it's a little bit late for seed but you can still sow now through the winter months uh, in a poly polytunnel of course and plant out in the spring. Wildflowers, check out wildyourgarden.com obviously for uh, more information on how you can put more of these wonderful and sadly diminishing wildflowers a lot of the time into your own back garden to help wildlife. Now, today's video, bar that little waffly bit at the beginning, is all about this wonderful little creature that I have just seen scampering through the meadow, which I didn't expect to find this time of year. It's now early November and of course these guys are usually either well underground in log piles, in stone piles. However, take a look at this. Now forgive me, my sexing of common lizards is not perfect. I think this is a female because of the coloration. Males tend to be a slightly more kind of olive green, uh, lighter color as well, but this is an absolutely beautiful specimen. You can see actually on the tail, she's had a near brush with death and has shed her tail, hence the, uh, the separation and the changing color on the back of her. And she's doing her very best at the moment to be a pancake, which is uh, because it is a very cold, well, it's not actually a cold day, but of course for lizards, they are cold blooded animals. So they need to warm up in the sun. So she's spreading her body as fat and as low as she can. Look at that, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Spreading her body as fat and as low as she can to absorb whatever bits of warmth are coming from the sky above. And because it's very overcast, she's just trying to make the most of anything she can. And I'm sure enjoying the warmth of my hand very much, which um, I've never had an experience like this with a uh, common lizard, just because they are so skittish usually. You know, you get anywhere near them, they're straight into some logs or rocks, uh, which is quite often where you find them in a garden setting, just basking out, making the most of the sun. But obviously in cooler temperatures, a bit like butterflies, you can have a bit more of an experience like this. What an absolute privilege. So common lizards are fairly widespread throughout the UK and um, the best way you can attract them into your garden, uh, they tend to be, or they have a kind of a northerly range. I'm not 100% sure where that is, but um, they tend to be further south as you go down the country, down the UK. Um, but the best way you can help them is by providing obviously the food that they need, which is um, uh, mostly insects. So of course, longer grass, longer vegetation, uh, where they can hunt for smaller insects. Uh, but also some hibernaculums for them. This, in the winter months, they will uh, go down underground. I've found them quite deep in the ground uh, at times, um, but also log piles, rock piles, uh, that sort of thing is really good. And logging grass. I mean, it was right in the middle of this vegetation almost where I'm stood now. So um, obviously making the most of the warmer pockets 
down near the ground where it is warmer uh, and avoiding the frost we've had one or two frosts so far so uh, yeah it's just an absolute privilege to see and i really can't express how grateful i am to be able to have a, uh, an experience like this because as i say they are usually off within a flash they don't like human intervention but um i strongly recommend you try and encourage these guys into the garden they are absolutely brilliant i remember when i first found out actually that uh, we had a, a lizard in the uk our very own lizard i was a bit sort of gobsmacked because the only time before that i'd ever seen any common lizards uh being up in uh, in the north in lincolnshire we don't get a huge amount of them uh so i'd not seen any in my childhood so it was later on in years when i actually saw my first one and i, I was kind of more expecting to find lizards abroad obviously mediterranean but to find our own very own lizard in the uk is absolutely brilliant and of course we have the sand lizard as well which is uh, a much much rarer uh, only located to a fewer sites these guys do prefer sandier soils because it's of course easier for them to sort of burrow into the ground um, but yes what an absolute privilege i'm just chuffed i could show you guys this today it's really been been great thank you to sam behind the camera for filming this obviously you guys are used to me doing this on my own one-handed but um nice to be able to get some good still footage of this wonderful little creature so yes common lizards i'm very glad i could bring you this today uh, thank you so much for watching guys feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already give the video a like and i will be sure to bring you more little encounters like this uh, probably less so at this time of year more again in the spring and we will of course be bringing you lots and lots of projects coming up stay tuned on the channel i can't emphasize how much footage i've got this autumn and summer of some of the projects i've been doing all over the country so thanks as always for the support guys and bearing with me and uh, hope you're all well and I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.